I mean, I mean, it was a good year for us actually with corner kicks. I think we had a program record mm-hmm. for the amount that we took. Uh, so that was a positive uh, as far as converting and coaching them and kind of practicing them a little bit better to, to, you know, play short and, and have some different options of that. We could probably improve that. So I think, you know, if you have the height and you have the bodies to, to just lump it in, that that's one method. Is that the preferred method for us right now? Probably not. And I know your, your opinion and thoughts on that in our first interview. Um, you know, so I think, I think it depends on the personnel and um, you know, it depends on who you have, and it depends on the opponent mm. that you're playing. Obviously, how how much time at, during the regular season do you do do you do you, do you practice corners? And I know during the regular during the season, it's probably your time is so limited. But yeah, I mean, this year we practiced a little bit more. Uh, to be honest with you, uh, we just felt that we had some creative mm. players that were able to. Um, you know, play it short, whip it into the box when it was necessary or shoot from distance if they had to. And, and I think this, this spring, so you had one of the questions on the earlier interview, what mm-hmm. focus on the spring, what should we do? Um, and I think we're going to be practicing that a bit more. And then hopefully, um, I, I don't know if perfecting is the word, but, but definitely improving that a bit on the fall. Cause I, I know that we have the players to do that and it's just tweaking mm-hmm. some things as well to, to try yeah. to improve that a little bit. 